Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, very easy video. Uh, Corridor of Awakening Shadow dropped on us uh, Sunday night, the 21st. Uh, Corridor of Awakening is not the greatest event in the world, unfortunately. Awakened event distributed characters to 120. Uh, what that means is all of the previously released four star characters, so the old, old, old free-to-play characters and the new four-star protector units. If you do this event, you get these crystals. And then if you didn't manage to get the free-to-play protectors up to 120, you know, during their meta, you could get their dupes here. And then for all the other really, really old battle units, starting from Space 3.0 all the way back to game release with Benny Maru, this is how you would awaken them, because they were, at that point, capped at level 100. Um, most of these units are not good even at level 120, like, it doesn't do anything but give them a small stat buff. There are a few here that are at least worth it, like Isis, Rimuru, Geld, um, Sufia, you know, Eren, uh, where, where she is, Eren right here, like, they're, they're decent picks, but everybody else, like, this is just a, a stupid event. Um, you know, they just recently added these four-star and three-star motes in the shop, so when they keep running it, um, people have something to buy, but I, I don't personally awaken any four stars or three stars. Shion is my last unit, and I will have her done with this corridor. So, I, cool, I guess. I really wish they would update it, but that's purely what this event is for. So, I mean, if you don't have any of the four star characters, you, you know, you go get them with flashback crystals in here, so you go down and you can pick up uh, Misery or Water Rimuru, and you can buy dupes with flashback crystals, or you can just buy his dupes with um, flash or with a corridor. You're gonna still have to buy both sets to get him to 120, but these I would say are easier. The missions uh, are even; they're they're giveaways now. There's not like send six greens and six oranges. It's just um, do it what 70 times, I think. Which is a lot, yeah, but they give you all of the crystals now just for completions. There are no more specific do so-and-so things, and the stage isn't hard. Like, I'm going to use the meta team with Shion and Rimuru. Um, you don't have to use the meta team. You can use whatever you want. It's type neutral, so, you know, none of your protectors give you that 60% buff, but at the same time, like... This stage isn't difficult, and I would suggest that everybody do the stage at least to get the free crystals you get for first time clears if anything and then you don't have to touch it again especially if you don't care about the older the old five star units okay thanks for that hand game um you know but apart from that this <laughs> unfortunately this event doesn't really serve too much of a purpose now because most of the old four star units are just not good not good at all in today's meta like you'll find a use for water rimuru You'll find a use, a lot of use for Isis, but apart from that, man, it's it's tough sledding, okay? It's real tough sledding, and I'm not even paying attention to this, and we're just gonna murderize uh, this other Rimuru, and we'll do this, and he'll either die, or we'll have to- no, he's gonna die. There you go. I mean, we can come in here with an ungeared Goddess of Destiny team, probably, and when we can clear it. And again, it doesn't matter what team you use, it doesn't matter how you clear it, in what order of operations, or how many green orbs or blue orbs you send, or if you use two magic changing skills, it, it does not matter. So, uh, yeah, Goddess of Destiny, let's do it. It's not gonna be hard. It's This is just a giveaway. These are giveaway missions, it's like 20 crystals for clearing it the first time. You get the, you get the other um, corridor crystals, if you really want to use them, you can. Um, but this is, this is just an easy video that I have to do because it comes out every month. So, okay. What a great hand like there. We're going to steal those and we're going to take try out, uh, for the hero, I guess. And one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we can probably kill him next turn with an ult and not a lot of buffs. Guarded that hit. Unfortunate. Uh, okay. Yeah. We're, we're going to kill him. So, let's do the buff and buff, boom, boom, magic attack up, magic resistance down, crit damage up, light attack buff up, guaranteed crits right here, follow up orbs on the, uh, on these, one, two, three, four, five, and Shunal kills. Like, this, this is not a difficult event, but I'm doing the video because, you know, I want to make sure that I get every single event on paper, or, you know, every 
every quote-unquote event on paper or on, on the channel so we can say yes they did release the corridor during january of 2024 it's very easy so get it done use any team you want it doesn't have to be a super great team either like you don't have to use a full meta you could use some hodgepodge of bullshit like this or you could use the Valor cup team you're gonna do just fine but at least clear it at least get these you know five crystals right here because if you don't do everything to get all the free crystals that they give you then I don't want to hear you complain about lack of crystals just because you're lazy and you don't want to do shit. No, 20 crystals does not break the bank, but 20 crystals here is 20 crystals more than you had, you know, two hours ago. So just do it. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later. All right, one more shot before um, we the Corridor of Awakening even leaves because it's got, like, a day and change left. I had recorded the first part of this, like, when the event first dropped and then I forgot about it because I was going to wait for Overlord and then I forgot about it and now Overlord is here. So um, we did it with, you know, the easy teams in the first clip. Now we're going to come in with just, you know, Rimuru, uh, uh, sorry, Nabe and Ainz and I'm fairly certain we're still going to be able to do it. So, I mean, again, the stage is not the most difficult thing in the world. So, um, yeah, again, free crystals, the flashback or the, sorry, the corridor shop isn't really the most useful thing in the world for newer players, if at all. But it is just something to do more than anything else. So let's see how much damage. 3,200 from Nabe right here on the guard. Get a good amount of Ions Orbs. We can change these with Nabe. So that's looking pretty good. Um, we're not starting with the so like a lot of protection gauge because we only have two characters. And for Gazel and um, Dark Millum to activate, we need three characters up front. It's not the end of the world. So, I mean, we'll do that. We'll do the protection gauge buff and the despair. Uh, and, and we'll just kind of blaze through this as we get through it. So we are, this again, type neutral. But with the power of this team and, and this, this, the raw stats that we're going to get. And he's not doing any damage to us at all. Like, this is the highest stage. You saw me click it. And it does not matter. So we have an Ein's ult. Uh, we don't even have enough points to even, you know, use his buff yet, but we have a Rimuru buff. Uh, how much health does he have? He has 33k? Yeah, I'm fairly certain the Iron Zalt plus his buff is going to do 33k, or something very close to it. So, let's go ahead and... let's see. Let's Orb Change with Nabe, put another stack of Despair on, so now there's 10% alt resistance down. And then if we the alt doesn't kill him, the green certainly will. 33.5. Okay, there you go. All right, so sorry the video is going up so late, but if you need to, I mean, Ainz and Narborough can take care of it by itself. But Corridor of Awakening, January 2024, almost February. But there you go. That's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.